Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. Today I'm going to bring you along as I make some healthy and delicious, also super easy, vegan meals. So today was one of the days that I do yoga and I start my yoga practice at like 9.15 so I don't actually like to eat a big breakfast before I go. So before yoga I make my standard matcha latte, you guys know how to make this by now if you've seen any of my other videos, and I also had a protein bar. So my matcha was just matcha powder, some pumpkin pie spice, some monk fruit extract, as well as some cordyceps, which are medicinal mushrooms, and they give you a nice little boost of energy. I will link this brand in the description box below, and you can actually get 15% off using the coupon Simply Quinoa. I also add in some coconut butter. I love the one from Thrive Market because it's super creamy, so I just scoop in about a tablespoon of that, top it all with hot water, and then I blend it up until it's smooth and creamy. And then the protein bar that I had today was a raw rev bar, and I love these bars. They're really low in sugar, which I really like, but they have like 12 grams of protein. They're not super high in calories, like it's not a full meal. And they also come in really delicious flavors. So I love these, and it's a great pre-workout snack for me. When I got home from yoga, I made a smoothie bowl. I love my smoothie bowls. And today I did a base of greens. I actually had a power blend mix, which had chard and spinach and kale. So I used this as the base. I scooped in a scoop of my favorite vegan chocolate protein powder, which is from Garden of Life. I also added in some blue spirulina. So if you guys have ever seen blue recipes on Instagram or YouTube, most likely they are using this spirulina to get it blue. It is naturally this blue, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then on top of that, I just did some frozen zucchini as, as well as some frozen blueberries. And then my liquids were coconut water and aloe vera juice, which is really great for digestion. And then I blend it all up until it's smooth and creamy like the consistency of a soft serve ice cream. Pour it into my bowl and get to my toppings. I honestly don't change it up very much when it comes to toppings. I like to use some dried mulberries, which have a really nice sweetness to them, and they also are a little bit crunchy, which I like. And then I also like to use some peanut butter, of course. Peanut butter is my fave. And then I also added in some coconut flakes here. So this is my finished bowl. It's super simple, super filling. I love how high in fiber it is, high in protein, and it tastes like ice cream, which is awesome. I know it's kind of a weird color, but it's the blueberries mixed with the greens. It always kind of turns a weird brown color, but I promise it tastes delicious. So you guys should definitely try this one because you'll love it. Since breakfast was on the later side, I actually didn't have a very large lunch today. I just made these vegan spring rolls and I ended up saving a couple of them for my leftover lunches the next day. But essentially, they have a bunch of thinly sliced up vegetables and tofu. So it's some tofu as well as some scallions, some red peppers, some cabbage, and some carrots. You could do any mix of vegetables that you want here. And then I'm also using this tofu. I really like this tofu. It's from sprouted soybeans, it's non-GMO, it's gluten-free, it's pre-baked, so it has a really nice flavor to it, and I just really like it. And then I'm using this Pacific Nori as one piece of my spring roll, and then I'm also using these brown rice paper wraps. So I get both of these either on Thrive Market or Amazon. I really like them, and this is something that I make for dinner too sometimes. So how you make it is really easy. Basically, you need a plate or a dish of hot water, and you're gonna take your rice paper and then dip it in the hot water and let it sit in the hot water for about 25 to 30 seconds until it starts to soften. Then you will transfer it to a wet, flat surface. So I put a little bit of water down on my stone countertop. And then I do a layer of the nori. And then you just basically assemble with your vegetables. So add all of your vegetables and then your tofu. You could use avocado, whatever you want. And then we basically just roll them up like a little burrito. So you fold in the sides and then you kind of pinch it and kind of roll it away from yourself. And there should be a little edge on the far end from you that has a little bit of the rice paper and you just roll it over and it should seal fine. And you're just gonna repeat this until you've used all of your fillings. I tend to make four to five at a time. Depending on how hungry I am, it's usually two to three is my meal. This was kind of like a lunch slash afternoon snack, so I ended up only having two. I also like to serve mine with a dipping sauce. So the base of my dipping sauce is tahini. I love tahini, but this is also really good with almond butter or peanut butter. I also add in some coconut aminos, which is an alternative to soy sauce as well as some hot sauce. I like to use sriracha. 
And then I also add in some lime juice and then I just stir this all together until it's smooth and creamy. Sometimes I have to add in a little bit of water, but I didn't this time, so that was awesome. This is the finished product. Like I said, they're super fun. They're really easy to make. They're colorful, they're crunchy, they're high in protein if you use a plant-based protein and they taste kind of like sushi, so they're pretty awesome. And then for dinner tonight, I was actually testing a recipe and that is now on the blog. So you can get that recipe on the blog in the link in the description box below. But we are making a creamy coconut and mushroom soup. We are gonna start by sauteing some shallots and garlic in some olive oil. So I am using my Dutch oven to make my soup. I love using Dutch ovens for making soups. I just really like the way that they cook. So essentially we're just gonna saute our shallots and garlic for a few minutes. Add in about six cups of chopped mushrooms. You could use any variety of mushrooms that you like. And then I season this with some salt, pepper, and some thyme. And you just saute this all together until the mushrooms start to soften. So they definitely will release some liquid like you can see here. And that's totally fine. You just want to saute them until they're nice and soft. From there, we're actually gonna add in some quinoa flour, and this is a really great way to thicken soups. I just love the texture that it brings. It's kind of like making a roux, if you've ever seen one of those before. If you don't have quinoa flour, you could also use another gluten-free flour, that's totally fine. And you just stir this all together until the mushrooms are coated, and then we can add in our coconut milk. So I am using a full can of full-fat coconut milk. I love using full-fat coconut milk because I find it has a much richer flavor and a much richer texture. You could use light if you wanted. And then we're also adding in some vegetable broth. And we'll just bring this to a low simmer. And we're gonna add in some quinoa. So the quinoa is a great way to add in some plant-based protein. I also really love that it thickens it a little bit. If you can't tell, I really like thick, creamy soups. So it thickens it, it gives it a really nice texture. And like I said, we're getting in that protein and also some fiber. So we'll just cover the soup and cook it on the stove for about 20 minutes until the quinoa is done. And then to finish it off, I stir in some coconut aminos and also some lemon juice, which I forgot to film. But this just adds a really nice kick at the end and it kind of rounds out all the flavors. And then we can just serve it up. When I serve mine, I like to reserve some sauteed mushrooms for the top. I just find that it looks really pretty, but of course you don't have to do that. I also garnish usually with some parsley and some fresh cracked pepper. And this is just a really lovely soup. I enjoyed it so much. And it's one of those soups that is pretty simple in terms of flavor. So you can easily jazz it up. If you want to make it more filling, you could add in some beans like chickpeas or white beans. So I definitely recommend you guys try this soup. You're gonna love it. I absolutely adore it. And like I mentioned, the link is in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's What I Eat in a Day video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. There is a link on this page that you can click. I also have a whole playlist full of other What I Eat in a Day videos. So make sure to check out those if you need some more recipe inspiration. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.